For the second day of elimination method, um, example one is just having you find what you would multiply by one of the equations to make opposite um, terms. So it says decide which equation or equations you would need to multiply a multiplier. What is or what are your multipliers? Multiply and write the new system of equations, but do not solve. So first of all, I would look to see, can I cancel these out? No. Can I cancel these out? No. They, they would make four, that would make five. Here, uh, those are not X or Y, so I don't care about these right now. So my question is, is how do I make opposites here? So I'm gonna look at the Y's, okay? I have a 5y and a negative 1y. And I've got to figure out how to make this a negative 5 to be opposite of that. Okay? So my goal is to keep the one at the top the same and then make this one so that this term is a negative 5y. So what times negative 1? is negative 5. And in this case, it would be 5. And so I take the 5 and I multiply it to 2x. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5y. And 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, now you should be able to eliminate and solve if you had to solve. Okay, in part B, I want to try to find opposites here. So I look, nope, that makes 3x. And then here, that would make negative 2. So now I have to decide, okay, what, what term, x's or y's, do I want to try to cancel? Um, so <clears throat> I have a 1x and I have a 1y. I am going to, you can pick either one. I am going to pick the y. And my reason is that if this is already negative, then this has to be a positive. Okay, and it's already positive. So if this is a 1y, what number times 1 would make 3y? And that has to be 3. So then I would do 3 times x, 3 times y, and 3 times 4. And then the bottom would stay the same. All right, in letter C, we check to see if we have opposites. And this is really close, but it's not because they're both negative, so that'd be negative 20. Uh, 3y and negative 7y, yes, the signs are opposite, but the numbers are not opposite, okay? And then that doesn't matter. So my goal is to figure out what do I want to make opposite, and I would say the 10 is the best. So. I'm actually going to go with the top one because if I multiply by a negative, I'm going to make a positive up there. So I'm going to, I want to make this first number a positive 10x. So what would I multiply negative 10 by to get positive 10? And that would be negative 1. So make sure you multiply negative 1 to everything on top. Then on the bottom, we just rewrite it. And you can see that these are opposites that make a 0. All right, letter D. Uh, we have 3x and 18. Okay, those would not be opposites. And then negative 4 and negative 5, that makes negative 9, so that's not opposite. So now we have to decide what... What do we need to cancel? Um, and I'm thinking that we should cancel the x's because 3 times something can get to 18. And so my goal is to make that an opposite 18, which would be negative 18. So now I'm going to say, um, what times 3 gives me negative 18? And that would be negative 6. So negative 6 times 3, negative 18x. Negative 6 times negative 4y is a positive 24y. 
and then negative 6 times 8 would be negative 48. Then on the bottom, we just rewrite that. All right, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to stop it here, and then I'll just do another video for the last four right there.